Hey, this is Casket. Next up, smoking salmon on the Master Forge propane smoker with an easy brine recipe. So we got a little over five pounds of salmon and we're going to do a simple brine. This is a very simple brine. You can add things to it if you like. I'm just doing a four to one mixture of brown sugar, kosher salt, and some garlic powder. It's very simple. This is four heaping cups of brown sugar. And this is one cup of kosher salt. And we're going to add some garlic powder to it. Mix it well. You can add rosemary. You can add thyme if you like. It's wide open to put anything in here you like. Some people put in uh, lemon zest. You can uh, just, uh, just there's, it's unlimited what you can do. But this, for what we're doing today, it's just going to be a simple brine. And this is going to cure the fish. This is actually going to draw the moisture out of the fish. And you'll see tomorrow, we'll leave it in there for about 12 hours. You'll see tomorrow uh, that the, uh, the fish is going to be in a completely different state. They're going to be actually in a solution rather than this dry brine. You can also do a wet brine. Um, and there again, there's many different recipes for a wet brine which is basically just uh, maybe a gallon of water with a three or four to one brown sugar and kosher salt. By the way, always use coarse or kosher salt, uh, never iodine or iodized salt because of the iodine uh, can cause some uh, metallic or some off taste on the fish. So make sure you use kosher salt, uh, even sea salt if you have that, that, that would be fine. All right, so once again, we have five pounds of salmon and uh, we're going to cut this into about three inch pieces. You know, maybe a little less than three inches, but about that size. And that works best for brining. Leave that one whole. Okay, we're going to start by layering a bed of the uh, brown sugar and salt mixture. And then just start laying it across like that and we're going to add another layer of brown sugar and salt mixture and continue doing it until Now you don't want to pack the fish in very tightly because in a few hours, um, this is going to be in a liquid form because the salt is going to be pulling the moisture out of the fish. So you're going to want to leave some room to, um, to move the fish around. Very simple, that's all there is to it. We're gonna refrigerate this for about 12 hours. So there it is, the uh, slabs or the trim slabs of salmon are in the uh, dry brine and they're layered as you've seen. We're gonna put the lid on it. And in a few hours, that's gonna pull the moisture out of the fish and it's going to be actually be in a solution, a brown sugar solution. So the next step, it's been 36 hours, and once again the, the meat is very firm, you can see. We're going to rinse the brine off under cold water. And 
we're going to take some more paper towels and blot it dry. And then we're going to put it on the rack with a fan. Okay. You can see there's been significant shrinkage of the, of the meat. It's even a bit smaller once we start smoking. Get some non stick spray and spray your racks. Make sure you leave enough space between each piece so there's good circulation for the heat and the smoke. Okay, as you can see, I've got a fan set up here. And I'm going to have the uh, some air circulating around the pieces until there's a uh, film that forms, they call it the pellicle. And it'll be uh, kind of a sticky, opaque film on the surface of, of the meat. Maybe about an hour or so, maybe two hours. And it'll be ready to go into the smoker. Well, it's been three hours and the fish has been sitting on these racks in front of a fan and you can see the pellicle mm -hmm. has formed it's a tacky kind of an opaque film that is formed on the flesh and we're now ready to put it in the smoker I'm going to start off smoking about 180 for a couple hours and then I'm going to increase it to uh, about 20 degrees every two hours thereafter and I'll be using alder wood which is an excellent wood for smoking fish so in a few minutes I'll meet you out at the smoker and alder chunks. And we'll be pulling up to about 180 degrees soon. I'll show you on this Master Forge propane smoker. I've got it throttled back all the way to the lowest setting. And uh, it leveled off at 180 degrees until the smoke kicked in. And then it went up to uh, right around 200, so I've just left it right there. It's been a little over an hour. And, um, and I only put in a, a good handful of wood chunks. I'm going to give it another round here in just a moment. Uh, another handful, and that should be enough. I'm going to add a second round of wood chips. Actually, a lot of these. They haven't really burned. I'll throw a little bit more in there. And I am keeping water in the water pan. Well, it's been about 15 minutes since I added the handful of wood chunks and stirred around the, the ones that were partially burnt in there. And um, you can see it's smoking pretty well. Not too heavy, just a nice light wisp of smoke coming out. I should mention it's February 24th here in southeastern Michigan and it's 68 degrees. I mean, just a beautiful day. It's, we've had three or four days 
uh, recently back to back in the 60s, in the mid 60s actually. And uh, we're getting spring fever here. So we're coming up on the three hour mark. I wanna show you this. I was already picking at it and you can see how it's flaking. See how it's flaking away? So this salmon is basically done. I'm gonna put a glaze on it. Oh man, I just tasted that, what? That's amazing. I'm gonna put a glaze on it using some pure maple syrup. And I'm gonna use my UDS as a table. We're just going to put a little drizzle on each piece. And I'm going to add a little cracked pepper. Okay, I've done a glaze of pure maple syrup and brushed it on each piece. Put a little bit of uh, fresh ground pepper, just a little. We'll do that for both racks and go in for about another 15 or 20 minutes and we'll be finished. Okay, both racks have been glazed with pure maple syrup and a little bit of cracked pepper. About another 20 minutes or so and we'll test it out. Okay, almost three and a half hours. Time to pull. So there you have it folks. I took a half a lemon and put a little bit of lemon juice over it. Wow. Uh, you know, these came out perfect. Uh, you can see that. I'll do a drive-by. Small pieces will tend to dry out. You'll notice this one here. The smaller pieces will dry out. That's the problem with the end, uh, when you cut the ends. But uh, still good to chew on. But uh, these, these pieces here, perfect. So here it is. Oh man. I'll be doing this again, that's for sure. Very moist. The glaze is excellent. Uh, I get a hint of the brown sugar and a hint of the garlic. And the salt content, it's not overly salty at all. So don't be afraid with that one cup of kosher salt. Um, excellent. There you have it. Simple smoked salmon just in time. Looks like the bad weather's moving in. Smoked salmon was very easy to do. Uh, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing a lot of smoking this, this coming summer. So until next time, thanks for checking in and happy smoking.